first. According to DoSomething.org, 60% of LGBTQ students report feeling unsafe at school because of their sexual orientation. 42% of people of all ages who are LGBTQ report they feel their environment is unwelcoming. Malik Wilson shows us how one Williston man is working to help make the lives of those who may feel different a little easier through continuous education and outreach. I waited till I was 20, 24, 25 to come out but it was mostly because I needed to find that acceptance with myself. Alex Johnson is the founder of the Williston Rainbow Rendezvous, a group created six years ago for the LGBTQ community. So we go to communities where people aren't so accepting and we, you know, we hear the stories from all over the western side of North Dakota. Through the events he holds, he says he hopes to unite, educate, diversify, and create safe places for the LGBTQ community. One such event is on coming out, which he says is a process in itself. We have to find that acceptance for ourselves. We have to work with that struggle. And then eventually we have to be able to be comfortable it, you know, accepting the fact that other people are going to accept us. And the lack of acceptance could come right from within the comfort of your own home. I was telling Alex earlier that my um, oldest son, he's 16, he came out like when he was in elementary school. Amani Penro is a member of the Rainbow Rendezvous, but more importantly, the parent of a bisexual son. She says accepting who he was was a challenge. It took him years to be comfortable with talking to me about like his true feelings and everything just because how I was. And I think with this meeting, you know, I think it's important for parents. Penrose Testament is one of many and it's all a part of growth that Johnson sees for the future. As we're building that awareness and understanding, we are kind of seeing that the statistics are kind of changing every every year. Statistics show young people who are LGBTQ and who are out to their immediate families report feeling happier than those who aren't. If you were to look at the statistics three years ago, it would have been a high, you know, like a higher age group because, you know, people were still waiting till their 20s to come out. Now kids are coming out at, you know, 17, 18. Johnson says he will continue to create an environment where all walks of life are accepted and where the silence of many is broken. Reporting for KX News in Williston, Malik Wilson. The coming out meeting will be held tonight virtually through Zoom at 7.30, completely free of charge. It'll also be rebroadcasted if you're unable to attend. For more information, you can visit our website, kxnet.com. Stay tuned. Coming up.